Uh, it's actually everybody always asks this question, how you work together? Yeah. And I always say it's a secret. The situation is that our work was our life, and our life was all about our work. We travel, we did enormous amount of exhibition. It's respect, it's love, and it's talent to negotiate. Not to get offended. If you do disagree, give up on the differences. Just come and say, oh, I'm sorry, it's okay, <laughs> let's go. And that's it. We practically did it simultaneously, so that's it. Painting, it's a window into the world, or another world, or miracle. The installation, it's a three-dimensional window into yourself, because when you walk into the space, you are the character, you are the person who is afraid of life, you are the person who wants to be visible or invisible. And that's why we work together, and that's why we were so good together, because we understand each other. Where is our place? It's a very strange installation. The level when somebody look into the ground, who lives underground? It's either mystical creatures or it's people who are dead. When somebody go there, he goes also up because the body goes there, the soul is going up. In front of you, it's a photograph from 1950. People dancing, people fighting, people working. You see the guns, you see the violence on these photographs. They reflect 50s. But it's happened today as well. When you look up, you see Baroque paintings. Baroque paintings are from the past. And you have this lower part of figures, which actually look at the other part of painting. What do they see? They see the rest of the painting. Whose painting is better? Whose part is better, their or ours? Whose point of view is better? Are they looking at the past or the future? Impossible to tell. Ilya, he came to the West, he was 54 years old. He never had an exhibition, never. He always said, West is a paradise. And everybody picked up on it and said, we live here, West never was a paradise. For him, it was a paradise. His dreams, his fantasies become reality. He first time in his life see his work exhibited. He had reaction not only from his friends, but from normal, everyday people who live every day common life. That was the people he worked for. It's not about Ilya, it's not about Emilia. It's about the viewer who come here and depending on his background, everything he experienced in his life come out at the moment when he stepped into this exhibition. In different room, different feelings. In different room, different reflection. And that's what we expect. Nobody can predict the future. We have a lot of people who try to do this politically, uh, religiously. I don't think it's possible. I think somehow, incidentally, we can see the future or we cannot. The train is going into the future. It's slogan of Soviet times. We're going into the future, but if you look at the title where the, the train is taking people, Tarakan, Tarakanova, it's roaches. So you take in where? to the place where there are a lot of roaches. You look at the other painting. It refers to 19 Taurus, the worst Stalin time. You to go around and you see reflection on this painting in our time. But what we don't know, that Kabakov painting, he copied the painting from 1936 by real artist, which won a prize. And so there is a copy on the copy on this next one copy. And that's all this exhibition takes you in circles. Your presence is important. You're not only physical, but mental.
and emotional, of course. That's it. We actually sit in here where for first time this painting is exhibited. It's one of the last paintings he did based on his very famous album, The Flying Kamarov. The Flying Kamarov came in the 70s at the period when Soviet Union was under iron curtain. You couldn't leave. It was very difficult to live inside. It was impossible to live. And Ilya's dream was to, to have somehow escape. It always was about escapism. Where can you escape? You can escape into the sky. You can escape into the painting. You can just fly away. This whole exhibition, it's an installation. We were preparing to celebrate Ilya's 90 years old birthday. And suddenly, he disappeared. My husband disappeared. Ilya Kabakov disappeared from his studio to where? Into space, into cosmos, into another life? I don't know. I, I'm afraid to walk into the studio because there is nobody there. I'm afraid to walk into the house because nobody there. I want to tell him what happened today, what's going on around me, what's going on in the city, in the museum, in the installation. And then I realize there is nobody to call. And it's like I'm cut in half. Ilya always said we are one person. We work together, we think the same, we do the same thing. But right now, it's like, I don't know what to do. Half of my life, I keep working, it's me. But the other half, which really also me, suddenly disappear. And that was the worst surprise he gave me in all these years that we are together, by disappearing.